So today we are solving algebra equations and we have a problem that looks like this. Eight times 3x minus seven. And notice, eight is right next to the parentheses with all of these things in parentheses. What that means is we're multiplying eight by everything in the parentheses. And on the other side, we've got equals three times, again, parentheses, three times 2x minus four plus 10. Okay, so in order to solve this problem, we are going to have to simplify this so that there aren't parentheses in, in here anymore. And for that, we are going to use the distributive property. The distributive property says that if you're multiplying eight by a bunch of things in parentheses, you have to multiply that eight times each individual thing in the parentheses, okay? So we have to do eight times three x, Eight times three is 24, so eight times three x is 24 x minus eight times seven, which is 56. All right? On the other side, we have another set of parentheses with something being multiplied by it. So uh, we're going to have to distribute that three times everything in the parentheses. Three times two x is six x minus three times four, 12. And then I'll drop down the plus 10. So that's what the distributive property does. It multiplies that number on the outside of the parentheses times everything on the inside of the parentheses. And when you do that, notice, there are no parentheses anymore. They're all gone. And now we can actually start solving this equation. Before I start undoing it though, notice I've got some like terms on one side of the equal sign. We've got regular numbers on the same side of the equal sign. Negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. So I'm going to drop all this other stuff down. 24x minus 56 equals 6x minus 2. And now I can start solving this. I've got x on both sides, so I'm going to get rid of all the x's over here. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other. When I do that, the x's over here and do each other. But 24x's minus 6x's gives me 18x's. The minus 56 drops down, the equals drops down, and the negative 2 drops down. Then we've got a minus 56, so I'm going to add 56 to both sides so I can get to that x. When I do that, 18x drops down, equals drops down, and this is 54. And I've almost got x now, but it's got x times 18, so I'm going to divide by 18. And what I do to one side, I have to do the other. And when I do that, the 18s undo each other, but the x drops down, the equals drops down, and 54 divided by 18 is 3. All right, and that is the solution to my equation. So notice, the new step here was the distributive property, when you have a number times a bunch of things in parentheses. But just remember, you've got to multiply every single thing in the parentheses by that number on the outside. All right? So if you found this video helpful, I hope you did, make sure you smash that like button. Also, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day, and good luck with that math.